Our next guest is one of our favorite guests to always have on the show because this person knows everything there is to know about Michigan, the places to go, the things to see. Dave Lorenz joining us now on the Oakland County Mega Cassie's the Vice President for Travel Michigan and also with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Great to have you with us, although I'm a little disappointed you're indoors. I know, isn't that sad? Uh, good to be with you too, Ronnie. You know, you were saying, I know everything. Well, boy, if I ever did, I certainly don't anymore because there have been so many uh, changes during this COVID period. And I have been continuing to travel because you can travel safely if you do the right things. Everybody knows about keeping your hands clean, wearing your masks indoors and even outdoors in busy places and, you know, staying home if you're sick, all those things, distancing and whatever. So you've been able to, I mean, I've been able to travel around and I hope other people start to feel more comfortable about doing that. But unfortunately, uh, with all the challenges that our retailers and restaurants and attractions have had, we have sadly lost a lot of these businesses, a lot of these these entities that that are part of our downtown, our, our heart and soul of our downtowns. And I'm really concerned uh, and I'm, I'm pleading with people to please support their restaurants and their retailers and, you know, support local. Uh, we've even put a page together, michigan.org forward slash support local. Give you some ideas of some things you can do, places that you can go to, uh, some fun restaurant ideas and retail ideas. Because the businesses out there, they, they're doing all they can to make it safe for you and to give you these options. So I'm hoping people are taking advantage of it, trying to support our businesses and support all those jobs that are that are really dependent on those businesses staying alive this winter. Yeah, so it's uncertain whether or not the pause is going to be extended past December 20th, but we are going into the winter months. And for so many people, Michigan attracts a lot of visitors because of you know our places are outdoors and especially up north what do you think that's going to look like this year well it will be a bit different uh luckily you know uh we have these four very distinct seasons and even though we don't have tons of snow uh throughout all of michigan right now uh we know that the snow is going to happen <laughs> it's going to come so if you're like me and you love winter it's my favorite time of the year uh, just, just hold on a little bit longer. You're going to see some more snow in your backyard. Uh, if you don't like winter, you might as well learn to, to deal with it and change your attitude because you don't want to travel far away from home these days either. So the good news is we have plenty of snow up north in the ski resort areas. Uh, Crystal Mountain, I think they open tonight, if I remember right, or maybe Friday. I've gotten them all mixed up. Boyne is opening. Uh, Shanty Creek is opening. Treetops is opening. In fact, I think Treetops Resort even has their free ski weekend this weekend, where if you stay so many nights, you get to ski for free. You know, what a great deal. Um, and, and so you're going to still be able to do all those things. So that's the constant. That's what's still going to be there. But the change that you're going to want to be aware of before you go is that they're going to ask you to um, to reserve your your tickets online in advance to kind of use your car as your as your uh, uh, kind of like uh, post to warm up a little bit. Um, everybody's kind of used to going inside and, and hanging together, you know, around a fire. That's going to be a little bit more difficult this year. So think of your car as is your kind of warm-up spot. There will be some tailgating going on, so just be very careful as you're doing that and have a good time. Uh, but probably the biggest change will be a requirement to wear face masks even while you're skiing. So what? I mean, most of us already do that. <laughs> I do. You know, I have bad asthma, so um, I when I'm outside in the wintertime, hiking or whatever, I almost always have, in effect, what's now going to be a face mask. So it's no big deal. We just need to kind of get over the, the stigma about uh, face masks. I hope we, we've gotten through that now and, um, and realizing that as, as long as we do these other things, the majority of the experience will still be the same. Enjoying the beautiful atmosphere of pure Michigan, the wonderful resort amenities that are going to be there, but in a different way. Uh, for instance, you might stay at a place like Shanty Creek and uh, instead of being able to go to that uh, beautiful 
uh, Lakeview restaurant overlooking the bluff, overlooking that fantastic, beautiful lake uh, up there in the Bel Air, fresh air area. You're going to uh, basically, you're going to order your food and then either pick it up or you can have it, um, you know, delivered in some cases. Uh, uh, Shanty Creek has a brand new Starbucks coffee shop right there in their um, Lakeview um, um, uh, area. And it's beautiful. If you go to a place like Crystal Mountain, you're going to see all the beauty of that beautiful, beautiful space. You know, they have traditional hotel rooms and cabins and cottages and condos, and they're scattered all over the place. So they're big, big campus. There's plenty of, of distancing opportunities. Boyne Mountain, uh, of course, Boyne uh, Mountain, Grand Mountain, and then also the Highlands. They still offer all that they always do. Their unique thing that they offer in wintertime is zip lining. And you can still do that. So that's pretty cool. That was actually built for wintertime. People don't really understand that, <laughs> that when, when Boyne put their zip line together, they thought that would be a nice augmentation for wintertime. People who might just want to do something other than skiing. So you can do that. And then, uh, you know, I mentioned treetops earlier um, with their uh, ski free weekend, but they have this adventure inner tube ride experience. They're still going to be offering. So, you know, just know before you go, <laughs> before you go, <laughs> sorry about the coughing asthma, you know, before you go and, um, and then you're going to be able to really enjoy that experience and talk about a great gift giving experience. Cause you can also, you know, contact them and say, listen, I want to make a reservation for January or February or whatever, book it, put it in a little card. Here's your Christmas gift or your Hanukkah gift, whatever you want to do. Uh, I, it's just great opportunities out there right now and great deals as well. Yeah, and, and with that, Dave, for a lot of the hotels, because we are pushing, hey, stay home, stay local. So it, the hotel industry has taken such a hit during this time if I'm a parent and maybe I want to take my kids and get them out of the house, spend a weekend at a hotel, are the pools open and some of the other amenities that you usually find at a hotel? Yeah, in most cases they are. And, and of course, they've taken all the steps for safety as well. So most of the, uh, the hotels, when they have a pool, if you're not in the water, they're going to expect you to wear a face mask because you're indoors, right? Um, and then if you're in the, wa in the water swimming and all, that's, that's different. Um, and, and they're going to still expect people to stay away from each other and all that. So uh, they're, they're being careful. They have um, restrictions on how many people they can allow in at a time. Uh, sometimes they even have reservations uh, where you, you can have like a two hour block or whatever it is. So, uh, the, you know, the trick of travel right now is, uh, and, and to your point, Ronnie, about kind of staying local, staying close to home, that just means for me staying in Michigan. But for me, for me is maybe different than from you. Maybe you're not comfortable with traveling to another town yet. That's fine. You can still kind of get out of the house because Lord knows we need to get out of the house. You know, my office at the house is, you know, my basement. Um, and luckily, you know, <laughs> we have windows and all, so at least I can see outside. But I'm looking forward to getting outside. So maybe that just means going to your local Holiday Inn <laughs> or whatever it might be. Um, this time of the year is a, a fun time of the year to even kind of treat yourself as a tourist in your own town by, by reserving a room in a local or a couple of rooms in a local hotel. Maybe get those rooms that connect so you can be with your family uh, in that way. Uh, <laughs> maybe bringing your board games and whatever and finding a joint room, you can do that type of stuff. Um, and then <laughs> enjoying the pool or whatever. There are some restaurants. This is genius, by the way. So the, the Foundation Hotel in Detroit, as an example, great hotel, former firehouse. I mean, it is spectacular. Um, so they've worked with some restaurants where you can reserve a room, not necessarily for an overnight stay. You can do that as well. But you can reserve it just to use the room for an indoor dining experience, private indoor dining experience, uh, because you can't go into restaurants right now. So what they've done is they've kind of taken out the, the bedding and whatever, and, and <laughs> they keep it nice clean. And, um, and then you can, you can do a, a restaurant experience that way. Um, the industry is being innovative. They're being thoughtful. They're, they're trying to think in every way that they can be as accommodating 
hospitable to you as possible and to keep you safe. So you can do it. You just need to kind of check around. So we have a, a website, um, of course, michigan.org, where you can learn about all these various things. And it's a big portal. So um, maybe you don't know exactly where you, where you want to go or what you want to do. Just do a little searching through there. I think you'd find some good ideas. One thing you might want to do is go to that michigan.org forward slash support local section of the website. And then we have information on what certain communities are offering, um, different deals and packages, all that, um, some, some good gift giving ideas as well. And, um, and you might learn about some communities, <laughs> sorry, some communities that are offering like downtown dollars. So you, you basically pay either like a chamber of commerce or whatever, a certain amount of money, then you get like a gift card or a certificate. And then you can use that as a gift and then they can, they can then use it at a variety of retailers. It's a great idea. So think about that as well as you're kind of thinking about this gift giving season. So Dave, I, I love the thought. We've done that before where we've rented uh, a hotel room in Detroit because there are some hotels too that allow you to bring your pets as well. So we, uh, last year we took our dog and explored Detroit because you may see a city all the time, but when you're downtown, you're staying there, you can walk the community, you see the city with different eyes. And especially right now with the holidays, it's so beautiful. But I'm wondering too, what about uh, like Airbnbs and some of these other, um, it, you know, because that became the big thing to do is to rent out a, you know, maybe a bed and breakfast or to rent out part of your house. How is that industry right now? Are they allowed to operate? Yeah, the the what they call the sharing <laughs> sharing economy um, venues, the Airbnbs, the vacation rentals, um, uh, you know, by homeowner that those types of things, they've actually done very well during COVID because of this perception that you can be safer in like a private home that's being rented for a week or whatever than you can with a traditional hotel. The fact is. Believe me, the hoteliers are doing a great job to keep things safe, clean. Um, you mentioned traveling with pets. That is becoming, and I think COVID has is, is impacted this to some degree, that's becoming more and more important for the travel industry to be accommodating to families who see their pet as part of their family. I mean, it, I mean, who doesn't really, you know, uh, it's harder with like bigger dogs to travel, but with smaller dogs um, specifically and some other animals, you can uh, get into uh, uh, many of the uh, hotels these days. I actually checked out, oh, what is it called? There's a new Hilton Hotel under a different brand in Grand Rapids, the Canopy Hotel by Hilton in Grand Rapids. Wow. What a beautiful place. And the first thing when you walk in, and it's in the kind of this, this kind of cool, uh, kind of newer section uh, of kind of development in Grand Rapids and the, the former warehouse district, uh, you walk in there and it's very obvious they're pet friendly. They have a big display, I mean, with dog bones ready to go and you know water bowls if you need them and all that stuff. Very cool. So. Uh, we, and because of this, we've been developing for a while a section on Michigan.org. So if you just go to there, go to that website and then do a search for pet friendly or go to Michigan.org forward slash pet friendly, I think is what the, the actual um, link is. Check that out. And then you'll, you'll find a variety of um, hotels that we're discovering are now pet friendly. Uh, restaurants are as well changing their, their mode in, in this way. Of course, right now we can't go into restaurants, but we'll get there soon. I think sooner than maybe what we're fearing right now, because the COVID numbers are starting to um, to be reduced, and that's great news. Um, we have to remember that that vaccine is starting to get out there. Uh, we should all be proud to see those trucks leaving the Pfizer plant in the Kalamazoo area on Sunday morning and continuing today. Um, the uh, the other uh, vaccines are coming along the corner. So is as much as it's frustrating to go through all these challenges that we have to go through right now, we're going to get through it quickly. So if we all take that pure Michigan pledge right now to keep everybody safe, but then continue to get out there and support our businesses, that's critically important right now. 
uh, we're going to get to that uh, that brighter day you know very very soon we really will hope is on the horizon mm -hmm. Yeah, Dave really. Lorenz, thank you so much. Always great uh, having you on the show. Happy holidays to you and your family. Same to you. Same to your uh, listeners and viewers, uh, folks. Um, believe me, we're going to get through this thing quicker than it seems. Please do all you can to support your local businesses. They support your family and friends with jobs. So please do what you can. Yep. And, you know, typically it's our small local businesses that also tend to support, you know, your youth soccer team or baseball team. They're a part of the community and we need them to, <laughs> to be here on the backside of this. We really do. Uh, and, you know, this winter um, after the holidays, it gets quiet tra <coughs> traditionally. So please do what you can <laughs> right now for them.